All right, welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, this is Rose City Reptiles, and in today's video, we actually, it's an exciting day because we have our first babies hatching of the season, which I'm gonna show you guys and give you a little sneak peek of that. But a common question that we get every season is, what are you feeding your baby tegus? And so I figured today's the day that we're gonna make up a big thing of meat mix specifically for the babies. So figured let's pull out the camera, film it, show everybody what we're making. And cause I think that'll be helpful to you guys. Something I want you to keep in mind is that when you go to make your own tegu mix, you don't have to copy exactly what I have here. This is to inspire you, give you ideas and things that you can put in your own tegu mix. The thing that you need to keep in mind is variety. Okay. So there's lots of things I could add to this to make it even better. Um, and which I'll talk about at the end, but first things first, we've got some grub pie that I mixed up earlier today. Um, and we're going to put in a tray of that. And then we have some chicken eggs fresh from the farm. Uh, all of these are hard boiled. So I went ahead and hard boiled some eggs. And then my nephew is breeding quail. So we got a bunch of quail eggs that we're going to put in there raw. And when we add eggs, we add the shell and everything. The whole egg goes into the meat mix. For fruit, we're doing some blueberries here. And then we also have some papaya. So they love blueberries and papaya. So we're gonna add all of that in. And now for our meat, we're gonna be adding, this is just some chicken breast here, some chicken liver, and then we've got chicken hearts. Okay, so some chicken parts. That's our main meat. now. Like I said earlier, you can just take from this. You don't have to copy it exactly. You can add lots of different meats. That's the beauty of feeding tegus is they can eat so many different things. But one important thing to keep in mind, anytime that you're feeding um, meat that's not whole prey, so there's no bones in this meat, you have to add your supplements. So for our supplements, we are now using um, sticky tongue so this is their indoor mix. I have the outdoor and the indoor. Our adult tegus are getting the outdoor stuff because they're kept outdoors and the tegus that are hatching out right now will be kept indoors. So we're gonna add these supplements. This is calcium, multivitamins. These are things that they absolutely need that you have to add in if you are using meat like this in your meat mix. All right, so here's our funny little system to making a bunch of tegu food at once. So we've got our big grinder right here. The food comes out, goes onto this tray. We dump it into this concrete mixing tub. And then over here we have where we put our meat. There's a drain in this tub that drains right into the bucket so we can put the blood into the garden when we're done. But, but yeah, that is, that's kind of our setup. We're gonna get to grinding. All right, so quick update in the reptile room before we go to the incubator. But you guys can see we've got some enclosures fully done and set up. We actually have more than what you see the lights on. We have more that are done and ready to go. Um, we are waiting on some glass that's getting ordered. I have to put some tracks in. There's some little things to do, but mostly things are getting ready. We just need to add some cork bark, you know, the little touches at the end. But today, we are gonna be putting the new babies that are hatching out right now, right in here. So it's all set up and ready. Oh, it feels amazing in here. Really humid, nice and warm, but we've got the soil in here and then you can see how we just kind of stacked up the cork bark over here. The babies are gonna love that. They feel, babies wanna feel secure. So they want to be underneath stuff. They wanna feel it on top of them, underneath, all around them. They wanna be surrounded. So they're gonna love going in and under this cork bark, and then they'll start creating their burrowing system underneath the soil, which is always cool. It'll probably take them a couple weeks to get some burrows in here. But uh, yeah, this is their setup. Now it's time to bring you guys to the incubator. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. First babies of the season. Look at them. They're just sleeping right there. Now there's only two hatched out in here. 
This is not the container that we are going to be getting into today. It's that container. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at all these babies in here. Plague and Marcel. So, whoo. There's a lot that hatched out here all on their own. And there's some more eggs in there still. So, I'm gonna probably tickle some of those out. Let's see what's let's see what's happening. All right, I got you zoomed in right around the lid. All right, I I, I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm about to open this up, and we're gonna see how many hatched out on their own, and do we have some that need tickled? We probably do. Here we go, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have missed babies so much. Look at this. Plague and Marcel. They never disappoint. Holy moly. Woo! Not gonna startle them, not gonna freak them out. This is amazing. Look at this baby. Just climbing right up on my hand. Wow. This is their first interaction with a human ever, with anything other than themselves. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my, I've dreamed about doing this all my life. Oh my, look at this, it's, a, it's amazing. Wow. I mean, the confidence in this clutch right now is actually mind blowing. I mean, look at all these babies, they're just hanging out. They're just checking me out. They're seeing what's going on. Uh -oh. What's going on with this baby? His tongue's hanging out as well. Sometimes, you guys, when you're first finding them, you can find birth defects. And that can be difficult. But we got one baby climbing up my arm here. Here, I'm going to pop you back down in there. There we go. And can you guys believe how they're letting me just get in there and handle them? Look at this. Brand new babies. All right, pulled out my phone for a little bit there. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram or TikTok, go do that. But I am just blown away right now um, by how tame. I mean, fresh out of the egg, and we're just chilling. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's one baby that I'm a little concerned about. Has his tongue kind of out of his mouth. So I don't know what's going on there exactly. But I'm going to have to keep an eye on this one. I think they just need some water. I think maybe it got dry inside this box. So we're going to, here's what we're going to do. We're going to act fast. All right, we're going to take some warm water and just kind of give them a quick mist. Because I'm not sure why this one's doing that. Yeah, I don't know what for sure what's going on with that one. Something with that tongue. But the rest of these guys are looking great. Um, so I guess I'm going to transfer them over into the enclosure. Start putting them in here. There's three. Jeez, crazy. Yeah. Adding them in. Plague and Marcel. Some of you guys watching this are getting one of these babies. That's always pretty cool. Yeah. 
right, as I was putting those ones away, look at this one. Hatching out all on its own. I'm just gonna give it a little touch. Here it comes. Another one coming right into the world right now. And I'm gonna let him do his thing. Oh, this guy. <laughs> the good news is the baby that was having the tongue problems. This is the baby that was having the tongue problems and he's now tongue flicking perfectly. See that tongue flick? Look at that, perfect. Oh, oh. <laughs> Another one. Beauties. Look at that. So cool. All right, actually, let's see. What am I gonna do here? I'm gonna take these eggs out. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more eggs that need hatched. All right, so we're gonna pause putting babies away. I actually just put them back in the incubator because our meat mix is done being ground up and now i'll show you what we do here um, i have this little mixing attachment on a drill and that's what we use to just kind of get all this blend together but go ahead and get close up on the meat mix you guys can see the more variety you see in here the better so you know we've got the grub pie the chicken the berries eggs all types of stuff in here and all the calcium powder and the multivitamins and we're just going to get that blend up without making a mess in here. It was getting too hot outside, so we had to bring it in. All right, so we got the tegu mix all mixed up. It's all done, packaged up. I put it in these smaller containers for the beginning of the season because I want to take it out and use it within a few days. And then everything else will go into the freezer. These big containers, the six quarts, we'll use those once more babies are hatched out. But this should last us a while. I mean, babies don't eat a whole lot at first. That quickly changes. Um, so the last step, the last thing we're going to do in this video is feed some of these babies, but honestly, I don't know if they're going to be out too much. Look at this little guy. So most of them, which is totally normal, they just kind of go into hiding once you get them in the enclosure for the first 24 hours or so. They're just, you know, they just came into this world. So. The rest of the eggs, I'm actually going to leave in the incubator for now. Um, this container here, let's see, there's two that have hatched in there. By morning, there'll be a lot more. And then this container, there's two, and then there's uh, seven eggs left that have not hatched out. So I think we're gonna save all of these for tomorrow. Let them sit in here overnight and do their thing. Just continue cooking. We've got more clutches coming up soon. Plague and Raven, I believe, are the next ones due. So those should start hatching out in just a few days. It feels really good to have all this meat mix made. There's a couple peeping their heads out. I am gonna get some food and put it in there. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of action on the camera, but subscribe if you wanna see that, because 
it won't be long we'll be doing massive feeding videos in here feeding all the babies that we've gotten here once they get a little bit more accustomed so all right thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video peace out